It's May 12th, 2015, 10.30 a.m. It's mid-spring in northeast Oklahoma. You can hear that crow. He's up on top of that dead tree on the far side of the pond. A lot of birds singing. We had 7.3 inches of rain in about six days, so everything's soaking wet. We've had one day for it to kind of drain off. It's not so squishy today, but it's still, I've got wet areas I'm trying to find to probably hear me squishing through. I'm trying to find a dry area to walk through. The red winged blackbirds are singing. They nest on the pond here. There's also a green heron that stays on the pond. I don't know if he if they nest here, but I have one every every spring and into the summer and see him out here fishing. He walks along here on this shore, catches fish. I also have great blue herons and great egrets that migrate through here. They've already come through, but they'll occasionally show back up and stalk fish along this shallow area. The pond's up pretty much as high as it'll get. There's a drainage on the side that keeps it from getting higher. But that high grass right there is where I normally mow to. That's the mow line, so the water's still, still up. This is a pond in northeast Oklahoma. It's mid-spring and a lot of water. Had 22 and three-quarter inches this year of rain. Last year through the end of May, I had 16.6 inches, so I'm running almost about almost six inches above last year and above average certainly. Hear a warbler back in there. I've been hearing a prothonotary warbler, which they tend to be near water. I get those some years that nest out here. And the king bird showed up a couple of weeks ago. There goes a red wing. And a mockingbird, cardinals, blue jays. Like most, a lot of people do. But I do get a lot of good birds because of the pond. Here's the red wing. I noticed this one still got the red pretty bright on its wing. I noticed one yesterday had already faded. That's their breeding colors. They color up in the spring and then it fades as the year progresses. He's watching me, I think. He and well, I must be near his nest. Squishy right here. This is part of the drainage from higher up. Kind of walking through it. There's the willow tree. I nursed that one along when it first came up. Now it's really big. It was just a seedling. I used to mow around it and I put a stake there so I wouldn't mow over it. And It's right on, right on the water so it thrived over the years. It's been it's my 14th summer here so that was 13 years ago when I noticed it. And there's a cypress I 
planted in this wet area, this rock garden as I call it. And it's been there, I can't remember what year I planted it, it's just a few years old, but it's really thrived in this water right here. So I need to come out and trim around these rocks. It's just so wet out here. I got another tree coming up in this, I call it my nature preserve, but I don't know what it is. Then I have some real large plants. I see them in there. They just started over here last year. They're just starting to come up. They came out of bird seed and they get like eight, ten foot tall. So they'll be taking over out here and this will look a little better as the season progresses right now. It's kind of in the transition. There's another one of those trees. I don't know what they are. Then I planted a cypress there. I believe I planted that in 02 or 03. So it's close enough to the pond. It's done well there. And then this is an oak tree I planted later on and it's really taken off. It's kind of on a high spot which is rather dry and I had to nurse it through the 2011-2012 droughts had two years in a row. It's doing, it's finally, I think the roots got down to water. It's doing well on its own now. But I can't remember what spe uh, type of oak, species oak tree it is. I lost the records on it. And then right inside the fence here is the apple tree, which will have apples in July. It doesn't look like much, but boy, it can sure put out the apples. And this is another area I just let whatever grows in. There's wintergreen bushes and they're flowering. You can smell the flowers. Still have a north breeze so the you can smell and I'm downwind so I can really smell those flowers. crows moved on. I have American crows, an extended family that lives here. And then I have fish crows that migrate here. I saw six of them fly over the other day. They, they, there's wooded area back behind the pond there. I think they nest back in there somewhere because I hear them every day. So I think they're nearby nesting. And also I have a red-shouldered hawk that generally nests, I think, probably back in there. It's a rather sunny morning, partly cloudy. It's mid-spring and everything's really taken off now. The I'm sure the fish and turtles and frogs and snakes are happy with the high water, the pond full. It's been full since probably February. We've had a lot of rain this year. I hear the cardinal singing. There's some other birds flying over, but I can't tell what they are. It was a sparrow. I do. When it stays wet like this, I, there have been, I haven't seen any for certain, but I also get swamp sparrows on the pond. Hear a train in the distance. We had some wind, so I got some dead fall down from the six days of rain and some storms, embedded thunderstorms came through. We didn't have severe weather like further west in western, central western Oklahoma or down in Texas, but we got a couple of 
heavy thunderstorms. And that's what the backyard and pond looks like in mid-spring after exceptional rains. It usually st stays wet out here in the spring, but this is a little more, this is certainly above average. All the water, it's, the ground's completely saturated and any rain runs off and more rain's supposed to start midweek, another 24 or 36 hours and the ground's so saturated it'll just run off. There's, it's, we could go a, a week without rain easily and it just begin to start drying out. So we're in the rainy season. May's the rainiest month anyway. And we had a lot of rain in April, which is the second wettest month of the year. So we'll see what happens. I heard a downy woodpecker just then. Also I get barn swallows on the pond. They come down and get the mud and actually there's a nest on the house. Much to my wife's consternation. They always nest on, on top of a motion light. The good thing I've noticed with rain like this is it suppresses the wasp. When it dries out, the wasps start trying to build on the house. But they're pretty much beat down by all this rain. And I don't know what, what they do, but they, uh, when it rains like this, but they stop building nests. You don't see them. So this is mid spring 2015 on the pond, backyard, with above average rain. There goes a mockingbird. I haven't seen the kingbird. He usually sits out on the fence here and hawks insects. And the rabbits, they usually come out earlier in the morning from the brush, come out in the yard, and then we have deer. There goes the red-winged blackbird fussing probably at me. I don't see the green here, and he usually, he's probably out earlier. He walks along that shore with, where the grass is, catches fish. There goes a barn swallow right now. That's a mid-spring update, backyard and pond.